Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Herrera and I'm a developer relations engineer here at Datastax. Now, if you've been in the AI space recently, whether it's developing apps, researching it, or just getting into the topic, then you've probably heard of the term agents. Agents are the latest craze right now, but it could be a bit confusing to get into at first. What are agents? What are multi-agents? What are tools? After today's video, I hope you get an idea of what those things are through a demo that I'll be showing you that we built using Langflow and Composio. Now, you walk away, hopefully have building one agent yourself or just learning about the topic and getting an understanding. So let's get started. For the context of this demo, we could think of an agent like an assistant. Now, if you had an assistant in real life, they can do multiple tasks for you, whether it's answer simple questions like what's one plus one, or they could do things like schedule meetings for you on your Google Calendar. We'll be building a simple agent that can do those things for you. And we'll do that using a platform called Composio. And Composio is great for building agents or multi-agents because it is an integration platform that has access to many different apps. So you can see that by going into Composio, this is their dashboard, then clicking all apps, and you'll see here that there are many integrations that you have to choose from, but for this demo, we'll be using Google Calendar. So to set up this integration, you'll just click set up Google Calendar integration and then default Google Calendar. And you will go through the typical process of authenticating your Google account. You will click allow and you should receive a success screen, but also you will be dropped into this execute tools playground. This step is not necessary, but it is just a place where you can kind of play around with the natural language execution and the different actions that the API has to offer. So find event, you can also perform the action of creating an event here. So let's try it out. We will say create a meeting for 3 p.m. PST today. Uh, titled Composio Langflow Meeting for 30 minutes. And if we click generate, you could scroll down and see the parameters that we requested from the natural language execution actually get populated. And you can run this here as well and see what that payload looks like. So it looks like that the calendar event was created. But again, this step is not necessary. It might be a bit easier to actually look at this in Langflow. So we'll hop over into Langflow right now. And Langflow is a visual IDE for building, in, uh, for building generative AI apps or AI apps. So I will go ahead and click New Flow, and we have a template here called Simple Agent. Now, what you're seeing here are these boxes, but we call them components. And behind these components are, it's not just a visual diagram or prototyping uh, non-functional tool. Each of these have code behind them. So I can go in, I can modify the code if I need to, or I can connect to this um, from a Python code snippet. But for the purpose of this, I will be building it all with my uh, length flow flow here. And I will go into my left navigation bar and find Composio tools. Now I'll go ahead and drag that here. And you see, I might need my, I will need my Composio API key, which I can easily obtain from my Composio dashboard and selecting API, API key up here on the right. So I actually have that already pre-populated, so I could put that in here. And I will look for my Google Calendar integration that I had just connected. And you can do that by looking up Google Calendar here under app name. Now I will click refresh and if everything is all good, it should give me a green check mark, which it did. Perfect. And I will find the action to create an event, which is here. Perfect. Now on the right, you will see I have this agent component and Connected to it are several tools. So we already have a calculator, we have a URL tool, which, and we just set up our Composio tool component. So I can now connect this into the agent and I will also need a OpenAI API key or whatever model that you choose to power your agent. And I will now run this. So what's, what is happening right now? We are enabling our simple agent with a several tools with the calculator tool, a URL tool that was already pre-built, and now our Composio tool that we just brought in. And now I can test out different queries by going into the playground. So let's start with a simple question, like I said earlier. I wanna ask my assistant, what's one plus one? 
So here you could see what's going on. It, oh, that was really fast. <laughs> we could go here, we could see that it processed the expression one plus one, and it actually executed the calculator component as expected to then give us the result too. Perfect, simple enough. Now let's try to ask it something like, please schedule a meeting on January 1st, 2026 at 3 p.m. PST. We're getting real specific here. Titled, what did I call the other one? Data stacks, Langflow, Composio meeting for 30 minutes. Now let's see how the agent behaves here. So we see it's accessing the Google Calendar, create event, action, and wow, it was able to do it. Oh, I guess I clicked the link there. So perfect. We see we can actually go into our calendar here and see that it was created, the Datastax Lengfo Composio meeting on January 1st, 2026 at 3 p.m. PST. And just to prove it, we see it right here. And that was a simple agent built with Linkflow and Composio. I hope that you learned a little bit about agents from watching this video and can build upon it in the future. We can't wait to see what else you've built and keep in touch. Thank you for watching.